You mind leaving the stick by the door? Thanks. Don't want this place getting messy now, do we? Let me know if you need help finding something. Well, what do you fancy? Chewies. Well, you've come to the right place. We got your gummy bears, your jelly beans, your licorice sticks. Even got your black licorice. What seems to catch your eye? Got any small licorice? Why, like bite-sized? Well, certainly cut them up for you if you'd like. I see. Sure did. Impressive. What's your name, kid? Michael. No kidding. Guess what my name is. Is it Michael? It sure is. You know, from the second you came into the shop and propped that stick against the door, I knew I'd like you. You got spunk. I'll tell you what... Two seconds, Michael. Boy, look at me when I talk to you. What's your story, son? Apparently, I got spunk. Spunk? I hate spunk. Let me tell you a little story about spunk. When you got spunk, I like to call it moxie. When you got moxie, people tend to take notice of it. They start to hover around you. They say, this guy here, he's got moxie. And they'll follow you, and you lead them. But one day, you're gonna make a mistake. An honest mistake. That's not how the boy's gonna see it. One minute, you're apologizing. Next minute, I got a bowie knife up to your face. That spunk don't mean much no more. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. That man that had the bowie knife, he looked a lot like you. Want to know what I did to him? Thank you. You got it. Careful now. It's a mad world. Ignore him, Michael. Mr. Mike, what was he doing here? He was, um, shopping off the secret menu. There's a secret menu? Sure is, but it's only for customers who could be really trusted. Somebody who won't blab, and not everyone's capable of doing that. I can keep a secret and I won't blab. Yeah, um, how do I know you can keep a secret? One time, my friend Jeremy's cat ran away, and I was walking home from school one day, and I found it in a tree. So I started calling it down, but it couldn't work. So I wasn't going to climb it because I'm scared of heights. So I started throwing rocks at it. You going to pay for that? I hit it in the face and it fell down and didn't get back up. And I haven't told anybody that story. Not even Jared. Wow. That's, um, that's kind of messed up. So can I see the secret menu? Who? The secret menu? Sure, man. Whatever. Is that sugar? 
Not my fault. That's cocaine. Obviously, this isn't your everyday run-of-the-mill jawbreaker. This is what we call the sugar booger gobstopper. It's the holy grail of everlasting goodness. It has over 40 layers of flavor, which could easily last you a week. Now, I suggest you approach it one lick at a time. If you take it all at once, you're gonna regret it. Pace yourself, make it last. Baby's gonna run you up eight bucks. But I only have five. I know, I know. I'll tell you what. I'll drop the price down to five bucks and throw in a bag of that licorice you like so much if you do me one small, uh, chore. You want me to clean your dishes? Um, not exactly. You know that abandoned shop on the corner of Addison and Waveland, right by the park? Yeah. Well, what I need you to do is take a brick, <laughs> a bag of this stuff, and chuck it through one of the broken windows. Why? 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 Does it matter why? Why does your mom ask you to cut the grass? It's just gonna grow back anyway, right? It's not bothering anyone, but you do it out of trust. You kill the cat. I thought you could handle this. I can't. Great. Once you do it, come back with the five bucks, and the candy's all yours. Just remember. Nobody can see you doing it, okay? I don't know, Mr. Mike. This seems kind of dangerous. Mike, this isn't dangerous, okay? I'm not dangerous. I'm just a guy with some candy for you. Uh, okay, that, that sounded wrong. Listen, the point is I'm doing this because I like you, Mike. I think you're fit for this kind of stuff. I don't do this kind of thing for everyone. I think you and me could work out these deals more often. You get some store credit, I get a little less work off my plate. It's a win-win. Yeah. Okay. Okay, deal. Deal? Yeah. Great. Mr. Michael, can I ask you something? Call me Mike. Shoot. What is that sugary stuff called again? And if it's not sugar, why do you have it? You see this watch? This is a Swiss made 24 karat gold Rolex. It weighs almost two pounds. It's been calibrated alongside a mercury pendulum, which means it's never off by anything more than one one thousandth of a second. You know what it takes to get a watch like this? Hard work. It's as simple as that. It's the American dream. You could achieve anything for your business if you're willing to put in the time and effort. That's why I want you to work hard for the jawbreaker. You you'll find if you put in the time and the effort, you'll get what you deserve. And in the end, it'll be even more rewarding. Cool. Hey, Michael. You remind me of a customer I used to have. Kind of look like him, too. I'm counting on you, bud. All right? Hi, Michael. Hi. Come here often, son? Why, he sure does. He's a I wasn't asking you. Continue. Yeah, I'm actually here to get my... Never mind. What is it, kid? You can tell us. 
Yeah, he's here. We're trusted officials of the state. He's just here for the... Uh, Let the boy speak for himself. Answer the question, kid. Mike, do they know about the secret menu? Boys, boys, it's, it's, it's not what you think. Where's the secret menu located? It's in the back. Michael! I'm here to get my sugar booger gobstopper. I saved up real hard. You know, like the American dream. <laughs> the jawbreaker, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just a jawbreaker. I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll go get that. Mind if we come back there and check out your secret menu? Licorice. Huh? The deal was you threw in the licorice too, remember? Mike, do you fill up all the ice cream tubs with cocaine? Ow! Are you okay? Don't even think about it.